we're up to today. We're on Truman Lake, Missouri, in a kayak with a crappie rod and that's all. How's that for new and annoying? <laughs> I'm D.W. Verts, Hickbilly Outdoors. We're doing some crappie fishing today because it can be done. If y'all take this real serious, you're fools. Don't take it. Don't watch my stuff. I'm jacking with you. First fish of the day. Tastes as good as back. Well, <laughs> I got friends and people watch the channel. There aren't bass fishermen. A lot of them. Um, and I can't believe the elitist attitude that bass fishermen have, apparently across country, I've seen a bunch of it, is how crappie and catfishmen are leading us towards me. Oh yeah. kind of fish that swims because I'm a decent enough fisherman. Most people are. I caught a walleye the other day. I caught a white bass, caught a rock bass, caught a several sunfish, caught a sunfish today. I haven't caught a catfish yet this year. Wonder why. There's a better one. Take you to five pound bass. <laughs> Shouldn't be that hard to land a crappie. Oh, love my guitars in tune. So, I went crappie fishing in Truman Lake. Some video here of that. Haven't fished for crappie in Truman since 1997. I had 11 days in a row guiding in 1997 for crappie. Almost every one was directly for crappie. Okay? And we caught a lot of crappie. Oh, that's a good one. I got one too. Look at this. Cool. Yeah, I can't catch. I don't know about catching crappie. Yeah, or catfish or, or walleye or white bass or whatever. They ain't that hard to catch. That's why people like them so much. Hey, you know what? Folks like crappie fishing because first off, there's lots of them. Secondly, they're easy to catch. Thirdly, they taste good. You know why they taste good? Crappie are one of the few fish that we have that have no flavor of their own to speak of. They're not strong. Don't argue with me on that. I'm a cook. I'm a chef. I own a restaurant. Um. <laughs> Ooh, missed one. 
quite the challenge catch these crappie, you know. I gotta be silly. I'm perch jerking. <laughs> Eddie Van Halen. <laughs> I'm being silly. It's late. I've been working, cleaning the restaurant, getting greasy, rubbing some grease on the old Stratocaster now. Um, crappie aren't strong fish. Folks like that. They taste like what you cook them in. Folks like that. I don't like muddy catfish either. But I do like catfish that have some flavor. I like bass. You take a 12 inch bass out of a farm pond in April here in Missouri, that's some good eating. Look at that. Dropped down that tree and cut right next to it and caught one. Whoa. Looks like we're fighting like bass. You can't beat bread. Sunfish. Sunfish. Good stuff, y'all. I've eaten carp and buffalo out of cold water, scored, all the bones fried out. Oh, make you want to the rich folks to eat. Yeah, yeah. Oh, not a walleye. Oh well. Well, he ate that. Look at that. Today. I miss that G every time. Why is that? I'm fooling around. Catching crappie. I fished for just maybe an hour. Pretty sure I had my 15 keepers in, in Truman Lake. That's nine inches. I did not keep any of them. Oh no, you didn't keep them. No, I'm throwing them back in front of guys that weren't catching them and they're getting angry. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Wind up all this line. <clears throat> I haven't bought a bobber. In 20 years. Of course, I don't copy fish very much, but I just pick them up where they lay. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Because they are everywhere in the spring. Three jigs, three jig heads on that one stump right there just now. We're on top of it. Yeah, I don't even have to buy the lead heads anymore. I have to pour another one. I keep doing that. <laughs> I can stock up. And there's still one, two, three, three bobbers over there that I see. I'm not worried about getting them all, but that's kind of funny, don't y'all think? So, that was a good time. I haven't done that. I don't crappie fish. I crappie fish once last year. But this time of year, Missouri, most places you take a jig, you put it 14, 15 underneath, inches underneath some sort of bobber, some sort of float effect. Use a tube. Jig like I was using, an old-fashioned inch and a half, two jig, a 16th ounce head, and it works. I caught him from the get-go. I caught him till I quit. It was easy. Just not that much of a challenge to it, y'all. I mean, it's fun, and there's some good eating and everything, but just not that much of a challenge. I don't, know, I don't get what everybody likes. I mean, eating part's good, but... You eat turtle. <laughs> playing this here guitar that I never pick up. So I'm showing these clips as I'm talking, I get that. These guys that get on to me because I don't fish for crappie or other fish, I'm a bass fisherman. 
I can catch anything, but I like to catch bass. See, not one, well, one crappie, maybe the first one kind of did a jump. I think it's because he wasn't fighting hard enough. I pulled him head over heels. Maybe. Maybe that's what it was. Maybe that's what it was. It hit the water. They're that easy to catch. They jumped on it before it hit the bottom. For, or hit, or, it was falling the first time. That's just how easy these things are to catch. Look at him. Slugging out like he's a big fish. Yep. I get I get why all my buddies like crappie fishing because it's so easy. You catch fish no matter what, right? Yeah, that's why they like it so much. Uh. None of them went kaboosh on the bait. I like bass because they go kaboosh. They jump. They rattle their gills at me. They slosh around. They live in gnarly, nasty stuff. You got to horse them out. They hit topwater plugs. I've caught a crappie on a topwater once. One time ever on a buzz bait. I've caught one walleye on a topwater ever. Caught a bunch of catfish. I'm Jack and I'm tired. I haven't made enough videos. It's a fishing video for y'all. There you are. I like bass because they go kaboosh. I like to fish for anything. I think I can prove, I can catch fish. I can catch fish any place I go on the planet. I have not saltwater fish once in my life. I can catch them in saltwater because I know how to fish. I know understand fish. There's things I still need to learn to this day, but fish are fish. You gotta figure out where they're at, what they're eating, or what they're eating and where they're at. See, I get all confused. There's a load of crappie in this lake. I'll give me that. No, I ain't caught no big ones, so I, I, I ain't experimented. I ain't done nothing but come to this first little cove. Cool, though. A lot of challenge here. <laughs> crappie are just too easy. They call it perch jerking for a reason. It's perch jerking, but I did it today. I had fun doing it. My kayak on Truman Lake, put in, rode around the point, rode? 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 Rode. Paddled around the point, started catching them, come back, caught one right, put the boat in. At least 15 keepers, probably six or seven that were short. And everybody said fishing was tough, and I still did it. Because I'm so daggum good. No, it's just you got to go with pea gravel, chunk rock, change the pea. It's the same for every fish this time of year. They like that pea gravel. You start looking where it's interspersed in that chunk. Oh, yeah. I never changed colors, but one time right off the bat, because the water was dirtier than I thought, I went to my favorite stained water color for crappie. It has been for 38 years. Um, you know what a crappie tournament fisherman is? Guy that fishes crappie tournaments. Guy that couldn't hack fish and bass tournaments. That's what he is. Bye, y'all. God bless. Subscribe. Love you. <laughs> Love it.